This isn't moisture that has anything to do with Ernesto. This is the tropical wave that we've been tracking since actually the weekend. Very disorganized right now. National Hurricane Center doesn't think it's going to develop into anything, but they're focused on Ernesto because Ernesto is taking more of a southerly path. It has warm waters to deal with and eventually some lighter upper level winds as it gets into the Caribbean late tomorrow and over the weekend. Right now it's just a tropical storm. But that may change over the weekend and it may change dramatically by the beginning of next week. Here's the official forecast track. National Hurricane Center believes that by late Sunday, early Monday, this could be a Category 1 hurricane. Now the official forecast track has it as a Category 1 hurricane sometime on Tuesday. There are a couple computer models though, and this is new information that's just come out in the last couple of hours. A couple of computer models actually have it out here sometime Monday or Tuesday as a much stronger hurricane, possibly even a major hurricane. That's the reason why we're going to have to watch this one even closer over the weekend. Nothing to worry about right now, but Ernesto is one that we're going to have to take about as seriously as we take any storm, especially as it makes its way through the warm Caribbean waters. Here are the computer models, the spaghetti plots. Some of them taking a little bit farther to the north, which actually might not be a bad scenario for southwest Florida. Further north it goes, the stronger the upper level winds. Of course, if it deals with Cuba, that would help to shear it a little bit. Most of the computer models, though, taking it right through the heart of the Caribbean. So we'll track it very closely Saturday and Sunday. Official forecast track still has it as a Category 1 hurricane, but some of the models say it could be stronger by the beginning of next week.